Hello and welcome to Martin and Maths. We're continuing our preparation for the GCC exams, doing paper 3, question 11 here. And it's on iteration. We've been given a table of values, x0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and the function x cubed minus 5x squared plus 8. Now, fortunately, like often in exams, they've given a few of the answers. So when x is 3, the function gets to minus 10, x is 4, minus 8, 5, 8. We've got to fill in the other values. My guest presenter is going to help me work out what the other answer should be. When x is 0, the function will be? Um, well, the function with input and value would be 0 cubed minus 5 times 0 plus 8. So the overall answer would be 8. OK. And then when x is 1? be 1 cubed minus uh, 5, 1 squared plus 8. So it would come out to 4. And when x is 2? Uh, 2 cubed minus 5 times 2 squared plus 8, which would come up to minus 4. That's 8. That's minus 20. That's plus 8. You say it's minus 4? Yes. OK. And then that's two marks. Fantastic. Then it says, how many solutions does this equation have in interval 0 to 5? Now, we've been given the values from 0 to 5. How many solutions are there? Well, if you pay attention to the sign changes here, you see that this is positive and this is negative, and this is negative and this is positive. So a sign change there and a sign change there. This means that we have two answers overall because that represents the line going past the axis. So it's dropping below zero once and then twice in that interval zero to five. So answers would be two, and you, you talked about the sign change there. Then it says... Um, this individual used the iteration formula um, of x equal to square root of 8 over 5 minus x to the n. In another paper, you might have been asked to show how you'd get from that function to that, but they haven't asked us in this case. They've asked us to explain why it doesn't work when x is equal to 5. Well, why doesn't it work? When x is equal to 5, this becomes uh, 8 over 0, and since you can't divide by 0, you can't get a value. Okay, you can't divide by by zero. Excellent. Then it says for three more marks to use x equal to one as your starting point and to find a solution to the equation correct to two decimal places. So you need to use your calculator and show me what you do there. So with the calculator all you do is instead of putting where x um, n is you put the value that they've given you. So since we've started with one that's what we're going to put in the calculator. Yeah. When you find that, you find you get um, two uh, root. square roots. Yeah, root two. And a trick with this, actually, is if instead of putting uh, the next value, you just put the answer value. And there's an answer button there on most button. calculators. You can get your previous answer in there. So that will be where what two um, square root of two was. Okay. And if you keep pressing the equals button. And again, it'll keep using that answer. Yeah, yeah. you can keep getting new answers with the previous answer instead of rewriting the whole iteration. And we found that after using it enough times to get the answer to correct to two decimal places, it would be 1.52. 1.52. And in an exam, you'd need to show a few of those answers to show what you're doing. Fantastic. There we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks in a higher GCC paper. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Continue watching this GCC series. And goodbye from all.